Hi everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff in the Weather Center. Hopefully you're having a great finally Friday. We had a little bit of a thin strip of showers that moved through Washington County, provided some rain throughout the morning. Now the sunshine has come out. We have more rain on the way for the weekend, but you see the title of this webcast extra. I really wanted to post this to get you caught up with the latest before the weekend hits. Really? Another snowstorm headed for us on Sunday. Well, it depends on what computer model you look at. There is big discrepancy between the different computer models. I'm going to show you that if you go with just one, then yes, there will be the potential for uh, accumulating snow. But I'll tell you what I think, too, throughout this webcast extra. Let's begin, first of all, with what happened today. A little weak wave of energy swung in. And look at that thin strip of showers. I was over it the majority of the morning, and it was cold, it was rainy, and it was windy. And you can see that moves off to the east. Cloud cover, too. Not everywhere, just over that thin strip of clouds and a thin strip of showers. So let's talk about the system coming in over the weekend. We have two low-pressure systems, one that is hitting the Pacific Northwest, another one that is in Southern California. Both of these systems are moving eastward. The storm system that's in the Pacific Northwest is going to be diving down to the southeast. And why is that important? Well, because what's going to happen over time is that's going to drag some cold air in. Then you got the system that's coming in from the west, and that's going to bring plenty of humidity and moisture uh, for lots of precipitation. So you combine lots of precipitation with another system that's diving in from the northwest, bringing the cold air. That is where your snow chances come from. But just how legit is it? Well, the weekend wet weather is a very, very likely. In fact, you can already see these colors starting to brighten up on the water vapor over New Mexico. That is an intense amount of lift from a very intense low pressure system. There will be a lot of rain coming in. That little low that moved in brought some light rain is starting to shift off to the east. But I want to take you through what's going to happen over the next several hours. On your future track, we're going to tick away the time. Here comes that low pressure system in from the west. You can see the swirling and spinning. It interacts with all this moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico and all this mid and upper level moisture from that low. And look at this. This is heavy rain, folks. We're talking over an inch of rain easily with some thunderstorm activity. And there's a bullseye. X marks the spot for severe weather in southeastern sections of Oklahoma and southwestern Arkansas. Saw. As we move along in time, now the cold air starts to move in from the northwest. But you will notice that there is this area in the uh, southwestern quadrant of this low, what we call the dry slot, and you can see that dry air punching in. I don't think we're personally affected by the dry slot, but I do believe that the cold air, when it starts moving in, will wrap around once the low is a little bit too far to the east. So in layman's terms, in English, that just means not as much snow accumulation for us. Notice I said as much because I do believe there will be some snowflakes flying in the sky on Sunday. I just don't think it's going to be a super heavy accumulating snow and I'm going to show you why. Now in northeast Arkansas, southeastern Missouri, that's a different story. The cold air will be wrapping around that low. The low will continue to intensify and there will be plenty of uh, wintry precipitation in that location and this turns out to be a big snowstorm as it heads to the northeast. Let me take you through the different computer model forecasts. First of all we have the future track for the GFS and the GFS is the global forecasting system if you're uh, real uh, prone to looking at computer models and you've seen this before. GFS is not going as high for snow accumulation. You'll notice it's all rain on Saturday. Temperatures will be way above freezing, but it will be a very wet day, especially during the second half of Saturday. Now on Sunday, by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we start to get that cold air to wrap around with that low, and you will notice just a very minuscule amount of precipitation. We're talking uh, less than an inch of snow over north central Arkansas and that does include Northwest Arkansas. As we look at the European model, also known as the ECMWF, we're stopping it at Saturday evening, all liquid, all rain, but then it starts to change over, as you'll see, after Sunday, 9 o'clock in the morning, and there's your snow accumulation. So basically, Saturday late morning into the afternoon, as temperatures will drop, and temperatures start to drop below freezing, we will get a little bit of light snow. Now, 
Why are all the people going crazy on Facebook? It's because of this computer model, which is called the NAM, the North American model. And this computer model is going gangbusters for snow. And I don't believe it. I think it's an outlier, and you'll see why. I do think we see snow. I just don't think we see the amounts that the NAM is forecasting. So that darker blue shaded area is three to six inches. You can see that moving into northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. And this is just, uh, this is just baloney, in my opinion. Yes, I do think the cold air wraps around. There can always be local mesoscale features that you know increases the snow amounts a little bit more. But uh, I think jumping onto one computer model, and it really hasn't been trending this until late last night. It started to show some snow, and then today it kind of hangs on it a little bit, but it has been decreasing the amounts. Now here is what the future track NAM snowfall looks like. This is the one that's going gangbusters and you can see around four inches of snow in Rogers according to the NAM, the North America model, almost five inches in Harrison. Keep in mind this is the only computer model that is showing this. Now as we look at our uh, more likely RPM which is called a rapid precision model this is showing a little less and I think this is more adapt to uh, what we are going to see on Sunday. Yes, I do think we see snow. It is not going to be a sleet and freezing rainstorm because the temperatures will be cooling off from the lower and middle and upper levels all the way through the column. We will be below freezing. Now I want to show you this. This is a computer model forecast and this is what we call a mediagram. So this is what meteorologists might look at courtesy of Iowa State. Notice that the snowfall amounts are on the left hand side and you can see that the plume is showing uh, uh, over four inches or just about four inches. Then over time it's starting to drop a little bit more and more. Now the global forecasting system, the GFS, is showing this blue line which is way down here. Look at the difference between those models. Finally, as we look at the short range ensemble forecast models, again looking at the time, this is Sunday late morning into the afternoon and you can see that. Uh, this is what computer model uh, you know forecast and what plumes look like meaning what are the members of all the different types of forecast and what are they mainly showing well you can see the rain uh, is likely this is Saturday afternoon into the evening I know this might look like gibberish to you but if you are accustomed to looking at computer models um, this is what concerns me you can see the snow is looking likely as well but as we look at the amount of total snowfall these are just all over the place. You want to see a nice cl tight clustered area of lines and these are just going way up here to over four inches and five inches and then you got them way down here to under an inch. So when we say there is a lot of discrepancy or a lot of uncertainty in the computer model forecast, that's what we mean. Those lines aren't right together. There's really no way to average all that out. It's all over the place. And so the forecast uncertainty definitely remains on the high end for the chance of a heavy accumulating snow on Sunday. So uh, I do believe we see snow. I don't think it's going to be a whole lot. Temperatures will get cold enough, though, if there's wet roadways, they will freeze on Monday morning. Temperatures will be way down there, below freezing and even in the low 20s. Then we start to climb back up quickly, though, since it is a late winter snow. We're talking about highs hitting the 60s by the early part of next week. But winter, we are done with you. Oh, and by the way, if you're saying the Farmer's Almanac had one more snow in there, not true. In fact, you can see it right there. Uh, I'm going to tilt that over. March 2014, 12 through the 15th, sunny and nice. Rain, then sunny and cool. Showers and sunny and cool. Scattered storms. And by the way, that is for the Deep South region, just to let you know. That's the 2014 Old Farmer's Almanac, so it did not call for another snow. All right, that's the latest here from the Weather Center. We'll give you the complete forecast on the news. Until then, have a great weekend and uh, be prepared to have a lot of rain come down on Saturday evening, changing colder on Sunday.